Hey everyone, how's it going? Welcome back to another video. So here is my last, I guess, Comic-Con video until tomorrow's event. Although I will probably do one video on this tomorrow, I guess tomorrow morning, afternoon or something like that. Sort of like a recap of the event or, or like when to watch and all that kind of stuff because there's a bunch of stuff like that. A lot of details on like certain things that we're probably only going to learn about maybe like sometime tonight or like tomorrow. So yeah, just sort of a what to expect in terms of, you know, like when to watch the times and like what's going to be at the event and all of that, how long it's going to run for, which I guess we already know that part. Yeah, tomorrow is obviously going to be a very, very exciting day. I mean, everyone's so excited right now. I can't wait until tomorrow. I hate that we got to wait another like 24 hours or a little over 24 hours. I'm not entirely sure of when it starts yet, but the plan is I will be doing a stream tomorrow. So yeah, I'll have that stream going for, I mean, I'm not sure what time, but probably an hour before the event or something like that, and I'll ask you guys some questions, and we'll sort of get into all of that, but yeah, definitely I'll, I will be doing a stream on Twitch, so if you haven't followed me on Twitch yet, definitely go do so, I'll be reacting to all the news that drops, all the trailers and all that, you'll see my actual reaction to everything, and uh... Yeah, I'm so excited for all that, which also reminds me. So if you haven't joined the Patreon yet, I, I would recommend doing it if you're interested in vlogs and all that from just my own personal life. And if you do want to see some behind the scenes stuff. So what I'm going to be doing is, first of all, I already filmed a lot of stuff already, but I will be sort of filming some of my reaction to some of the news and, and all that and sort of like behind the scenes, like breakdowns and some thoughts and all that as I'm editing and sort of going through all of that. So if you're interested in all that kind of stuff, the link for my Patreon is down below. I will be posting episode two this Sunday. So so, and also, I guess one thing I should mention is Dead City. So the finale is now out and it's still not available for me yet. And this is just honestly, this is, it's so incredibly frustrating at this point. Like, I don't know why these episodes don't come out regularly. Like, I don't know what the issue is. You know, I don't think it's AMC Plus. Like, I, I, I just have this feeling that it's more of a Prime video issue because where I watch it is through Prime. And I have AMC Plus through Prime, so I think that could be more of the issue because I think people who have AMC Plus just like directly are able to actually watch the episode and have it like normally. So I don't know if going forward I'm, I'm going to have to do that where I, where I actually have it on AMC Plus directly just because honestly having it on Prime, like it, there's just been issues constantly and it's just, it's frustrating overall, you know, like I really want to be able to watch episode six, like I want to watch it so I can review it. But I'm not able to yet. And yes, I've seen a few things. I've definitely stayed away from spoilers for the most part. I've seen a few things, but it's just kind of like overall, like it's just a frustrating experience because I, you know, like I'm paying for it and I should be able to watch it. So it's supposed to release at like last, like last night, right? But it's not available yet. And is it going to be available today? I have no idea. So what if I can't post my review today and then tomorrow's Comic-Con, I'm definitely not going to have time to watch the episode. Like, it's just kind of frustrating, and like with Dead City, it's like obviously I'm so excited for this. Imagine if this is happening for the Rick and Michonne show, like that's gonna be you're gonna really hear the pure frustration from fans. Like that is something that people are gonna be so so upset about. So I really hope this issue gets fixed. I feel like this issue has sort of been a thing for like a year or two. Like it's been quite a while, and it's it's like I, I don't know. Again, I remember like last year there was a mention of something about Prime Video. So I think. There, there's something going on in terms of how they distribute it through like AMC Plus to Prime. So there's like a delay and it doesn't happen all the time because sometimes I actually get it early. Like sometimes I actually get it like an hour and a half early. So I don't know. But anyways, just expect my Dead City review out at some point whenever I'm able to watch the full episode. Because again, I've seen a couple of things just online. Nothing that was like big spoilers, although there was one thing, but that I kind of expected anyways. Overall, I, I definitely, I'm so excited for this episode. I really can't wait to watch it. I want to see how they're going to set up a season two. My general predictions as of now, again, I've talked about it before in a few videos ago. I do think Negan is going to be, or he's going to become the villain, I guess, for season two. And then I think Maggie is just going to be more of a, Maggie, I think, will be in a more of a place of, like, I can't believe I did that. Like, yes, I got my son back, and it was totally worth it, but now Negan is going to be a, a very, very big threat, and so we'll have to wait and see, because the thing is, if Negan's a very big threat in New York City, that could affect where she's staying at the Bricks. Like, it really could affect that. There could be, like, this war that is sort of brewing between the two, right? So that's where I'd want it to go. I think it would be really nice if it went there. Uh, another prediction I have just in general, and I, <laughs> I'm saying all this stuff and I really could be wrong, but like, I feel like the Croat probably does die. Like, I, I'm going to say like, I, I would really like him not to die because I think that having more awesome characters like that around for longer is just good for the show, good for the franchise. And so, and the Croat, you know, everybody loves him as a character. So to keep him around for a little bit longer, I think would be super awesome. But 
we'll have to wait and see obviously where they do go with that um i, I think that the dama could just be the real villain and the croat maybe maybe he just dies i have no idea how but anyways expect my review to come out hopefully in a few hours from now like hopefully once i'm done this video it just like the the episode drops i don't know now the walking dead is teasing something pretty major in terms of a surprise tomorrow actually multiple surprises so i actually want to get into exactly what they posted here so they posted this tweet last night, and uh, I couldn't really necessarily do a video on it because I was like, well, I was just busy. But yeah, they, they tweeted out, get ready, hashtag San Diego Comic-Con 2023. We have some major surprises in store for the Walking Dead family. And then they have this image here that says the Walking Dead universe, bigger, badder, deader, San Diego Comic-Con July 21st, AMC and AMC+. Plus. So yeah, um, major surprises in store for tomorrow. Again, I do really think we're going to get that that, that uh, Rick and Michonne teaser. I think it makes a lot of sense to show off some footage. Not getting that would be pretty surprising at this point. So I do think we're going to get that. I think where I'm actually sort of just like curious as to like, you know, how much we do get is more in terms of just like announcements and stuff. Like what do we get in terms of other show announcements? And then also like renewals because Dead City, the finale is now out. Are we getting a season two renewal right now? And this is where some of the strike stuff definitely could affect a lot of the universe here, because how long does this strike go for? I mean, I don't think it's going to be over in like a month. You know, is it going to be over in six months or like at the end of the year in December? Um, it could be at that point. You know, like the thing is, this is where it's going to become an issue. And I think it, it's sort of it's hard to say because like you're reading you're reading stuff online and, and like, so, you know, actors are saying we're not getting paid this and that. And then they're they're trying to work on a compromise and all that. And that's the thing here. Like, I don't know where this goes. I have no idea where this goes, but I don't think both sides are going to get what they want. Like, in my opinion, both sides aren't going to be happy with whatever. Like, they're going to have to compromise a little bit, right? Like, I feel like that's exactly where they're going to have to go with this. But it's just kind of, um, it's hard because, like, it depends on how long they want to keep going for and how long they can, they can do this. So in terms of how that affects the Walking Dead universe, though, Rick and Michonne's already filmed. Daryl Dixon's already filmed. Uh, Fear the Walking Dead's already filmed. Those shows will be coming out, you know, I'm sure uh, Dead City or Dead City. Daryl Dixon's coming out September 10th. Fear the Walking Dead, October 22nd. And then the Rick and Michonne show, early 2024, most likely. Daryl Dixon season two apparently has been filming. It's a rumor, so we have no idea. But apparently it has been filming for a while now. So, you know, they're not finished, so definitely they can't really, like, release it or anything, right? They're not finished the story yet, so that postpones that for quite a bit. So, say the show actually, or say the strike ends in, like, December or January or something like that. Like, say it actually takes a very, very long time, and then it actually ends then or something. That postpones filming until, basically, early 2024. So, at that point, we'll still be watching the Rick and Michonne show, right? And... We'll still have that to watch. So that'll be kind of fine. And then they're going to have to resume filming. And then at that point, just how long does it take? Right. And so that's where I think the Daryl Dixon show, like season two anyways, could drop before Dead City season two. And Dead City might have to come out next October, like October 2024. I can kind of see it playing out like that just based off of everything happening here. Right. Because like it just, I mean, to me, that just makes a lot of sense. And, it, and honestly, it is unfortunate. Like, I, I'm just basing this off of being a Walking Dead fan of, of just, you know, just in general. And we have this flow of everything happening right now in terms of the, the universe and, and the shows and stuff. And it feels really awesome. You know, like, the, the schedule is supposed to be basically Daryl Dixon comes out next in September. Fear the Walking Dead October. Rick and Michonne most likely early 2024. And then Daryl Dixon and Dead City at some point, you know, next year. It'll probably be the same type of schedule, I'm guessing. There could be an extra show added there where maybe we have uh, Dead City come out again in June next year uh, after, after Rick and Michonne ends. And then in the fall, in October, September, October, or whatever, we have Daryl Dixon airing again. And it could be maybe 10 episodes this time or again. Maybe they announce another spinoff or something like that. So... It's just one of those things where I, I think that that has been affected a little bit, though I do still think they have some time here because of the fact that they were filming Daryl Dixon already. And it's kind of interesting because I do wonder if they expected this. Like, I have no idea if they did or not. I'm just wondering if they did because it could explain why they filmed so much of Daryl Dixon already, like for season two. Like, maybe that's the plan right now is to air Daryl Dixon. Like, say the strike lasts like six months. Film that in early 2024, 
and maybe you're able to have the show, like maybe you have to film for two to three months just to finish like the last three or four episodes or whatever, or maybe it's three episodes. Because again, they've been filming season two for a very, very long time now. It's been it's been a long time, like two, three months already, three months, I'd say for sure. So they definitely have a lot of it down. If it's six episodes, they have a lot of it down. But if it's more than that, maybe they still have, you know, like four episodes left to go if they have like eight in total, right? And so maybe the plan is to have Daryl Dixon air next spring slash summer, or I guess it would be more summer. And then then Dead City would air in the fall because obviously they, they couldn't film until early next year. That could be the plan because if you think about it, like The Walking Dead's old schedule, like like you got to remember too, with, with the spinoffs, the release schedule has been, I guess, very, very different. It's been like, I don't know if the, if it just took them a lot longer to edit and just in post-production and all that, but it's been very different because they started filming uh, The Walking Dead Dead City last year in July around this time. Literally a year ago, they started filming it. And I believe they did start filming it because I'm pretty sure Lauren Cohen and Jeffrey Morgan weren't there. And uh, yeah, that adds up quite a bit. And then they filmed, I think, until like October or something. And then that was it. And then the show didn't get released until June. Like, that's a long, long time. Usually with The Walking Dead anyways, like the show would start filming in May, literally in May. So the first episode would be filmed in May and would release that October five months later. Now we're sort of waiting like 11 months almost. It's almost double the time for the first episode to come out. So yeah, I don't know if it's like editing or if it's just sort of a, a difference in, in just how they're handling the scheduling and stuff like that. But definitely, I think that is something that was a little off here with the spinoffs. And so technically for Dead City, if they're doing 10 episodes or something like that, I mean, I could totally see them filming Dead City Season 2 starting next year in May. Like, if the strike, to say the strike takes a very, very long time until next May or something. And I could see them filming it next May and then still having that show out for October because that's sort of what they've always done before. But, you know, it depends on their reasonings and all that. But definitely the shows in general, that's sort of my point here is. The strike is going to affect a lot of it, and it's going to affect the the announcements, I feel like, a little bit. Like, I don't know. In terms of just how successful Dead City has been, you sort of have to renew it for Season 2 right away, don't you? And in terms of, like, not renewing it, could you imagine them actually not renewing it? Like, that would just be so shocking. We'd be, we'd be wondering for, like, the next month or two, like, is it just the one season, I guess? Like, I think they're going to renew it for Season 2. I'd be so shocked if they didn't. Honestly, I would honestly be very shocked if they didn't. Because that immediately doesn't put a lot of faith into the franchise in general, right? Like, it's one of those things where it's like, okay, if you're not renewing it, then is, is Maggie and Negan's story just over now? Then there's a lot of questions. Then they're going to be asking everybody all the time, constantly, like, what's happening with Dead City? Is Was it just the one season? I mean, again, I know one thing from Dead City and the way they kind of did something with that one character, you kind of need a season two. That'd be such an awkward ending. But yeah, so in terms of announcements tomorrow, in terms of major surprises, like, I'm very excited for that. Um, I do think we're probably going to get, I mean, we're going to get the Rick and Michonne teaser for sure. Daryl Dixon trailer, we know that. In terms of other stuff, we're just going to have to wait and see. But I do want some announcements and all that. But yeah, so Comic-Con is tomorrow. Post all your predictions down below as to what you think we're going to hear. Hope you guys all enjoyed the video, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.